Capeberry is one of the first restaurants to introduce the degustation or the tasting menus in the country. The idea behind introducing the tasting menu was to give the customer a complete experience of the restaurant. Capeberry is not just a dining experience, but it's a more of a travel through different parts of Europe where the restaurant is inspired by. We go to Spain, we go to Italy, we have ingredients from different parts of Europe. We also use ingredients, some of the ingredients which are from Japan. So we employ the best ingredients, we use the best styles of cooking. So when we wanted to create that experience, we thought that the best way to do it would be through a tasting menu. And it's now been going on for seven years. Once guests arrive in Capelberry, they are served the freshly baked breads with uh, romesco and herb aioli. Uh, this is followed by the amuse bush which changes daily. Uh, two popular amuse bushes that we serve are the popsicle which can be fruit flavored or vegetable flavored like beetroot and orange and then watermelon and basil. We also serve them sometimes the small pieces of cheese like manchego, emmental or mahon which is served with a variety of fruit puddings. The journey for the vegetarians begins with the smoked yellow bell pepper espuma which is served with togarashi, roasted cumin and toasted almonds and the tahina paste. And it is smoked live in front of the customers making the uh, dish very dramatic. For the non-vegetarians we have the marinated tuna and the fresh mango which is in season. This is served with wasabi, lemon and dill. Then for the second course we have a common dish which is a take on the B52 which is a classic uh, shot made of Bailey's, Kalua and coin fruit. What we have replaced them with is sterifications of feta cheese, black olive and a clear consomme of tomato uh, which has got citrus flavors. For the third course we have the fresh burrata cheese and it is served with compressed watermelon, uh, pesto and uh, of course a fresh gazpacho. For the non-vegetarians we have a grilled seafood this is served with a bisque and we have scallops, some New Zealand mussels and some prawns. They are all very well put together by the bisque that we serve with it. For the vegetarians then we have a tortellini which is uh, stuffed with ricotta cheese and arugula pesto and it is served with white wine poached pears. For the non-vegetarians we serve the pepitoria duck which is served with a pudding made from almond and saffron and served with baby vegetables. Then we serve the cryo margarita which is in place of a sorbet. Basically this is a virgin margarita which we have different flavors on different days like mango, lychee, lemon and ginger or blueberry and then we add some liquid nitrogen to it and that gives it a very very interesting uh, you know uh, temperature to cleanse your palate. For the main course we have the stuffed morels which is fantastic served with a red wine risotto and uh, there is a morel cream sauce that accompanies it. For the non-vegetarians we have uh, lamb roulade which is served with a porcini sauce and a red wine risotto as well. In dessert we have two options, the chocolate decadence which is a rich chocolate mousse which is completely eggless and it has got a very crusty chocolate at the base and a very smooth chocolate on the surface. The other interesting dessert that we have is the imitation of mushroom. It is because the dessert looks like a mushroom. It is made with uh, different textures of chocolate and coconut. We have the coconut mousse, the coconut macaroon and of course the chocolate soil that is served with the dish to complete the whole effect of mushroom party. At the end of the meal, uh, before the guest leaves, we serve them the petit fours which, is, which the customer can enjoy with some tea coffee or with some liqueur. Uh, or some you know cognac if they want to. Once a guest has had the tasting menu in Caperberry, we believe that you know he would have had a great dining experience in terms of his all his senses. So that is the idea. We want to excite all the senses and provoke the desires of his dining experience. That is why the name Caperberry, which in Hebrew means provocation of desire. <laughs>